Diablo 4. It's something we've all been talking about for about a week now, and it still feels weird that it's actually real, and I'm still having a hard time just wrapping my head around it. It's kind of awesome living in a world post-Diablo 4 announcements. Let's just hope it actually delivers, you know? Let's hope it delivers on our hopes. So what are we doing today? Well, in my last video I talked about some speculation I had towards completely new classes coming into the game, just me having a bit of fun. What do I think the odds are of any of them actually showing up? Close to zero. <laughs> I don't think there's a big chance that any of them actually make it into a game. Because I think at this point Diablo has become iconic for the classes it's already created. And I don't think Blizzard wants to give that up. So I figured we could do a completely different thing today from what we did last time. I will list every single class that's ever been in a Diablo game and I will remove them one by one based on if they've already been announced and then we eliminate them one by one until we have two left that I think will actually make it into Diablo 4. Sounds good? Okay, so let's list all of them. Let me introduce you to our first three contestants. All the way from Diablo 1, the Warrior, the Rogue and the Sorcerer. From Diablo Hellfire, no one because it's not made by Blizzard. From Diablo 2, the Amazon, Barbarian, Necromancer, Paladin, Sorceress. From Diablo 2, Lord of Destruction, Assassin, and Druid. From Diablo... <laughs> From Diablo... No, let's, let's not do that one. From Diablo 3, the Barbarian, Witch Doctor, Wizard, Monk, Demon Hunter. From Diablo 3, the Reaper of Souls, Crusader, and the Necromancer. These are our contestants. Only two shall remain in the end. The two classes I actually think are gonna be in Diablo 4. All the way from Diablo 1, the Warrior. I don't think he's coming back, dude. <laughs> I don't think there's a big chance of him ever coming back. The Warrior class itself has been in one game. The character, he's not around. And I feel that the Barbarian mostly fills the same role that the Warrior did in the first game. So I think he's out. The Rogue from Diablo 1. I don't think she's coming back either. Just like the warrior, her character is completely out of the picture. The character model was used for people you helped during questing in Act 1 of Diablo 2. And I feel her role as a character has been replaced by the demon hunter. So I think she's out. Diablo 1, Sorcerer. Well, he's kind of technically already in Diablo 4. Him and the class from Diablo 2, basically the same. Basically a continuation of the same class. And they're already in Diablo 4, so we can say bye goodbye to him as well, because he's already in. He's, all he's fine. He's not going to be one of our two contestants, so he's out. Diablo Hellfire? Alright. Diablo 2's Amazon. I actually think there might be a chance that the Amazon gets to stay in the game. Mainly because we don't really have an agility slash ranged based character yet. Plus, if I remember correctly, the Amazon and the Druid were talked about being potential DLC characters for Diablo 3, so I, sh I think we should keep the Amazon for now. Diablo 2's Barbarian. Well, congratulations sir, you're already in Diablo 4, so we can get you out of here as well. Diablo 2's Necromancer. I think we should keep a close eye on this one. We'll save him for now. He can stay for the moment. He can be one of our top contestants. Diablo 2's Paladin. I think he has a chance, so let's keep him for now. I think he has a role he could play in Diablo 4. So let's keep him for now. Diablo 2 Sorceress. Well, good news lady, you're already in the game. You can join the Barbarian on the side and fuse with the Sorcerer and then everything will be right in the world. Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction Assassin. I think there's a chance. I know that lore-wise, some assassins founded the Demon Hunter Order and went on through there. So they might be a... I might have to fuse those two in a way. We'll get there though. We'll save the Assassin for now. And the Druid from Diablo 2. You're already in the game. You're in the game, and you're probably going to be the character I play no matter who else gets added. So, Druid, my boy, move to the side. You're already in the game. Cool it. And from Diablo 3, the Barbarian is already in. The Witch Doctor from Diablo 3. I don't think he's going to come back. I feel like they put the Witch Doctor into Diablo 3 because they wanted to experiment with something different than the Necromancer. But I think the Necromancer has a bigger role in Diablo as a whole, and he fills the pet class criteria pretty well and the witch doctor i mean he does as well but in diablo immortal they picked the necromancer over the witch doctor and i think they're gonna do it again in diablo 4 so i'm sad to say he's out i love playing the witch doctor in diablo 3 so it's kind of sad for me to even say that i don't think he really has a chance 
Diablo 3 Wizard. Well, Wizard, congratulations. You're actually a sorceress in disguise, so you're already in D4. Move along. D3 Monk. I think we should save the monk for now and come back to him because I think that he might have a role to play in this. What about the Diablo 3 Demon Hunter? Well, like I said about the assassins, I think there's a chance, so I'm gonna save the Demon Hunter for now. And we only have two classes left. The Crusader and the Necromancer. And I think both of them are possibilities. So we've slimmed down the list a bit, not much, but a bit. We've removed a few contestants, and now we're gonna do a deep dive. Let's start off with fusing the Necromancers together. Let's put the Assassin and the Demon Hunter together, and then put the Paladin, Monk, and Crusader together. So what we see now are four different archetypes of characters. And now we need to figure out which two makes the most sense. I would say that between the Amazon and the Assassin slash Demon Hunter, one of them is gonna make it into the game. I'm almost certain one of them is gonna make it into the game. Because we don't have a ranged physical attacker yet. And the reason I chose to fuse the Amazon and the Demon Hunter is because they are, at, at their core, they are essentially the same character, only that the Demon Hunter went ranged. Which is why I'm gonna have to first remove the Assassin and just replace the Assassin with the Demon Hunter. Because I feel like that's the more commanding class out of the two of them. Nowadays, it carries more weight. Like, the class name carries much more weight. So who do I think will stay between the Demon Hunter and the Amazon? I'm actually gonna go for the Amazon. Because it was a very asked for class during D3. Which I did not expect, because I've never been that big a fan of the Amazon from Diablo 2. And I know that's heresy, but <laughs> that's it's just the truth. I am very curious, though, what they could do with the Amazon in Diablo 4. With the new weapon system and the skill systems and stuff. There's room for some really interesting mechanics in there, and I would actually really like to see it. So, on that note, the Amazon takes out the Demon Hunter and becomes one of our finalists. So congratulations to the Amazon, you made it to the end. Now, how do we do about these other five slash four <laughs> classes? Because we have two necromancers, so we might as well just fuse them into the Diablo 3 necromancer because that picture is high res. See how I did that? So what do we do about the cluster of paladin, monk, and crusader? The common theme? is light. And I think one of them could have a real big role to play in Diablo 4. However, they have been talking about this game being more grounded, gritty, and dark, which kind of makes me feel like the light might not play that big a role in the game. Characters infused by the light might not be very front and center in this game. But before we go into that, I think we should figure out which one of those three would make the most sense. Let's think about this geographically. Now I know what you might think. Why would the geographical location of their temples matter when the Amazon comes from the deep south islands of the Diablo universe? Well here's your thing right. I have to disqualify some of them in some way so this is how we're doing it. So first off, the Paladin. Where does he come from? Well, the Paladin in Diablo 2 is a member of the Knights of Westmarch. And Westmarch, as we know, is in the West. <laughs> that makes sense, right? That's the completely wrong half of the continent, based on where we are going to be playing in Diablo 4. So I think he might not be our contender. The Monk hails from the area called Ivgorod, which is in the north, slightly northwest part of the map. That's way closer to uh, the areas we'll be exploring in Diablo 4. So he has a chance, definitely. What about the Crusader? Well, the Crusader hails from an area close to Karost and Chaldeum in the eastern continent of Sanctuary. So purely geographically, it would make the most sense for the Crusader to come back out of any of them. And if you consider that the Crusader was developed to look like a darker paladin type character when they were actually making him, I think he might as well just replace the Paladin in this run overall. So between the Monk and the Crusader, I think the Crusader makes more sense not only because he's the closest to this area that we're gonna be in, he also looks the most like a Diablo character. Now I was a Monk main all the way until the Necromancer came out in Diablo 3. 
So while I wish that the monk would come back to Diablo 4, I don't think there's a big chance he ever will come to Diablo 4. Because he doesn't fit the look, really. Unless they go real deep and just redesign him. So out of these three, I think we should keep the Crusader. The final duel is between the Crusader and the Necromancer. And you know what? I think the Necromancer wins this, hands down. For one really simple reason, but one that has me entirely convinced that he will be in the game. And that's the fact that Rothma is in the trailer. Rothma is the first Necromancer. The Necromancers are followers of Rothma. Technically, they're followers of Rothma's teachings, but you know what I mean. And I think that would be an incredible missed opportunity if they didn't put a Necromancer in the game. There is so much to pick there, to pick apart. After that long adventure, we will be removing the Crusader. And there we have our two finalists. My guesses for what we will actually be getting in Diablo 4. These are the two classes I fully expect we will see on launch. Could I be wrong? Of course. I'm human. I could definitely be wrong. Do I want to be wrong? No! <laughs> I'm actually really happy that these are the final two in the list because it would it would be really nice to have both of them in the game. Now that I think about it, you would almost have the exact lineup of Diablo 2 just switching out the Paladin for the Druid. I didn't think about that when I started doing this, but I now realize where we are with this list. I guess uh, we'll say Crusader confirmed the expansion pack again? Yeah? Okay? <laughs> nice. That's, that's how we'll end this. A Crusader slash Paladin themed expansion pack. I'm down. Anyway, this is what I think the final lineup will look like when the game actually comes out. Do you disagree? Who do you think will be in the game? I'm actually really excited to hear what you have to say about this, because these are honestly what I think we will be getting, and I would like to hear some counterpoints. If you watched this entire thing, thank you. Thank you for uh, taking the time to actually watch this uh, dumb video <laughs> that I made. Thank you for watching any of the dumb videos that I made. Somehow my channel just exploded after BlizzCon this year, and I am... So just happy and thankful that so much has happened in six days when I'm recording this. My channel views increased by 3,000 some percent in four days. It's insane. I just, I just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And as long as there are people here enjoying these things, I will keep making them. And odds are, even if no one's watching them, I will release a new video every four years, as I have done prior. <laughs> so, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you later.